Hi people, my name is Chris, this is my wonderful webcam, and I'm going to show you how to install uh, OpenBazaar server on a virtual private server, Ubuntu 14.04. My preferred VPS service is Volter.com, they accept Bitcoin. I'm going to deploy a new server. Oh wait, before I do that, I need to create a SSH key. I'm going to go to SSH keys, and locally I'm going to generate one. It's an interactive command. I don't like using the default name, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to set a passphrase. And there it is. Okay, I'm going to show the contents of the public one. I'm going to copy it. And add it here and give it the name open bizarre test paste in those contents and that's good to go all right now I can create an instance and I'm going to choose uh, Chicago just because um, Ubuntu 14.04 the lowest end package will do the, the trick no startup scripts use the SSH key I just created set a host name to something cool um, Tarek if you get the reference <laughs> add me on league uh, username is ecrispy um, okay so Tarek's installing it'll take a couple minutes all right, the v, the instance is resizing. Oh, uh, I'm so confused. Okay, what happened? Um, it's done. Okay, we can go to manage, or we could just copy this IP address. It's kind of hard to copy that IP address. So I'm going to click manage, and scroll down a little bit. Here we get the IP address of the virtual private server. I'm going to copy this, bring it into our terminal. Use the command ssh. I'm going to move my face out of the out of the way. Ssh root at the IP address and then use the I flag to say we're using a different I just got an email a different um, SSH key than the default oh I just showed you all my SSH keys don't laugh okay you can laugh um, which one is it open bazaar yeah okay and this is saying it's the first time you've connected are you sure you want to connect to this server and you say yes and then we have an issue here. It's asking for a password. Why do you want the password when I just told you to use a SSH key? Um, what is the issue? What is the issue? What is this issue? Oh, I just didn't give it long enough. It was still provisioning. Um, here we need to unlock our SSH key with that passphrase we created earlier. It was freedom. I'm going to... Oops. I'm going to click that remember password so I don't have to type it in again. Login as root. We did we did that. We need to create an open bazaar user. User add. Uh, create a home directory for them with the M flag. Uh, use the following shell bin bash. And their name is open bazaar. Um, give them sudo access. User mod. Add the supplementary group sudo to the user open bazaar. Um, give open bazaar user a password password open bazaar there's gonna be lots of passwords for this process so go ahead and make yourself a note in a text document or something with all these passwords um, putting down the first password in the text document and then this one is gonna be the password for open bazaar user we're gonna make a strong password so it's gonna be like Something like that. Make a strong password. I'm pasting it and then hitting enter and pasting it again. Set successfully. Um, just make a note. Open bazaar user password. And this one is the SSH passphrase. Okay. Um, next is give open bazaar user the public key so 
we're logged in as root, the root user right now, we want to be able to log in as the OpenBazaar user so we don't have to log in as the root user in the future. Um, to do that and not have to log in using their password, because password authentication is less secure than secure shell authentication, we'll give the same password, excuse me, the same public key to the OpenBazaar user. So that file, that, that key exists in the file root SS, uh, hidden folder SSH authorize keys. I'm going to cat that out to show you. Um, I'm just going to copy that file to home open bazaar dot SSH uh, like that. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm well. Yeah. See, if I did that, it would fail because there's no SSH directory yet. So I'm going to make dir home open bazaar dot SSH and then rerun that command. Okay, it's copied. Um, those permissions, those file permissions are root. We want it to be open bazaar. So changing ownership open bazaar, open bazaar, home open bazaar dot SSH and that should be recursive. Okay, so that's good. The um, Open Bazaar should have the SSH key, so we'll try logging in as Open Bazaar rather than root. Okay, we're in. And we should have sudo access because of the command we ran previously. sudo i. Uh, enter in the uh, strong password. Yep, okay. We're, we got sudo access exiting out of sudo. Next, um, we want to add third party dependencies. These are dependencies not provided by Ubuntu, but that OpenBazaar needs. In this case, it's libsodium. Alright, so Ubuntu knows about libsodium, but we haven't installed it yet. Let's go ahead and um, update the known uh, Ubuntu's list of known software with an apt-get update. <laughs> and it shouldn't take long. And then next we're going to install system updates because there's probably been Ubuntu updates since since um, there's been a Ubuntu update. So we, we want to install them. <clears throat> Alright, that should take, I don't know, couple minutes maybe. I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay, we got our updates. That only took like 30 seconds. Um, what did I just run? I did upgrade and now we need to um, install a bunch of um, dependencies that OpenBazaar needs. By the way, all these commands are going to be in the description below. Uh, you can just copy and paste them yourself and you can check them out and see what they do. This might take a few minutes. All right, those are installed. It's time to um, install OpenBazaar server dependencies only available through third-party code. So we're cloning a Git repository here. All right, we've got it. And now we're going to change directories into that repository we just cloned. We're going to uh, run these three commands. This is uh, one command and then these two ampersands mean uh, run the next command if the previous command exited successfully. This is these two are like preparing for compilation. And this third one is compiling the software. Um, compilation usually takes five minutes, about. Very good, very good. We have compiled, and now it's time to install um, another three can uh, excuse me another three commands make check runs tests on the software to make sure installed correctly uh, sudo make install copies the compiled code to the appropriate directories on your system like user bin lib what is this again libzmq 
And then the third command, sudo ld config, um, it has something to do with installation. I can't remember what that is. It's like links or something. <sighs> this is going to take a minute or so. Ruby. Okay, next step is to get the OpenBazaar server source code. So first we need to change directories back to our home directory. That's important. And then we're going to git clone another um, uh, repository. So we got it now. It's the OpenBazaar server directory. I'm going to change into that. List the server. Uh, list the contents. <clears throat> now we need to create a Python virtual environment for the OpenBazaar server's dependencies. Um, do this with virtual env followed by the name. We're going to call it ob server observer. All right. And that's created the virtual environment. Now we need to. Uh, like enter the virtual environment and we do that with the source command um, that's kind of difficult to explain so I'm not going to um, what's what am I looking for it's the ob ob server uh, a directory that was just created for us and then bin activate so we're sourcing the activate file for this virtual environment and then we'll see right here at the start of the um, <clears throat> The terminal, I guess, uh, it says we're in this open bazaar server virtual environment. Perfect. Okay, now let's install open ba open bazaar server Python dependencies, and we'll do that with pip pip install install our requirements.txt. That's a text document in this repository. That's going to install um, all the software listed in requirements.txt using Python's pip package manager thingy. This takes a minute or so. Python dependencies are installed. Now it's time to configure our OpenBazaar server and add a username and password to it. I'm going to use nano to open the file ob.cfg, which exists in the repository. We're going to scroll down and remove the the hash, or not not from SSL, from username and password remove the hash or um, pound sign from both username and password um, and set your own. I'm going to set the username to Chris, the password, um, a strong password, very important. I'm going to take note, I'm going to make a new strong password. My lips hurt real bad. 1988 underscore taco or something yeah I'm gonna copy that uh, I don't actually I don't know if copying works in nano so I'm not even gonna try it all right perfect save the file with a uh, control X now it's time to start the open bazaar server we do this with the command Python um, open bazaar d dot pi start and then we give it a flag with a and this is telling the open bazaar server to only allow the following IP address to connect to your open bazaar server this is a security feature and if your ISP does not or excuse me if your ISP gives you a static IP address go ahead and put your static IP address of your you know your home computer in that uh, following the a flag my IPS IPS I think about IPFS my ISP does not give me a static IP address so I'm going to have to tell open bazaar to allow any IP address to attempt a login this is why the open bazaar password we just set is so important because it needs to be strong, otherwise someone could just brute force their way in. Okay, so let's start the server. And this process does take a few minutes. Excellent! Our open bazaar server is online. If you've made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back because you've completed step one. Step two is hardening your server by enabling an SSL connection from your open bazaar client to the open bazaar server and disabling password authentication into your VPS. Stay tuned for the next video on that subject. Until then, have a great day.